What is up, Nation? No Gage Gaming here, back again with some WWE 2K22, My GM. So if you didn't check out the draft, go check it out up in the cards, but this is going to be episode two of My GM. We did the first two weeks so far. We're getting things going, so let's keep it rolling here. All right, so first things first. If you watched the first video, you know that I completely forgot about some, <laughs> some of our uh, power cards here. Uh, so we got the Legends Whisperer card, which I've already signed, uh, like four Legends, I think. We got Batista. Eddie Guerrero, the Hurricane, and Boogeyman. We signed those four. I could have used this card on any of them, but I forgot, so we're going to use it right now. We're going to hit select, and uh, you're going to go ahead and uh, confirm this real quick. Legends Whisper applied. So the first legend I sign uh, this week will be free. So we're going to actually jump back over to uh, the legends here. I want to check them out to see who is available. Uh, we did talk about possibly getting Booker T on our roster, so maybe we'll pick up Booker T here. Um, other people in here that look intriguing. Probably, uh, probably, probably JBL. I'm going more, you know, SmackDown-ish. You know, we are obviously because we're SmackDown. SmackDown, Ruthless Aggression feel with some of the legends I'm picking up. So, uh, between Booker and JBL, I'm going to go ahead and say that I think Booker T would most likely be the better option. And since he's free, let's go ahead and do it. So, Booker T, we're going to go ahead and sign him five weeks. Uh, no, zero dollars. Booker, you're not getting paid nothing. But, no, the, the, the WWE will take care of you, Booker. But me, I'm not taking care of uh, So, yeah, <laughs> there's our... Uh, Free agent, or I should say legend pickup. I don't know who is in uh, current free agency. I do want to add another woman to the roster. That's something that'll probably be the next signee that I make is another woman. So I believe we have four right now. I'd like to up that, but be a little bit picky. I don't want any of the four horse women just because, you know, everybody always uses the four horse women. Uh, not the biggest Natalia fan in the world, so I'm not going to be picking up her. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, wait it out on the free agents uh, until somebody, you know, intriguing uh, comes up in there. But this is what our roster is looking like right now, man. We have John Cena. Orin is our universal champion. We got some legends in there. Uh, as you guys can see, Alexa Bliss is our WWE uh, women's champion right there. And then we have, uh, you know, we got Indy Hartwell, Naomi, Raquel Gonzalez. We have an awesome roster, man. Some new talent as well, like Wesley. Uh, we got AEW's newest talent, uh, Claudio Castagnoli, a.k.a. Cesaro. So we got an awesome roster and uh, a couple feuds going. So let's go ahead and let's start booking week three. I think we got like two weeks left. Until WrestleMania backlash here, our commissioner goal, commissioner goal, excuse me, for this week is to schedule a run-in. So we'll definitely do that. And uh, real quick, is there anything in here that we want to do? Uh, we have the, uh, you know, things that uh, kind of affect the Raw here, which would be prevent a random superstar uh, on the opposing show from competing in next week's show. I think I'll save that to when we're closer to backlash. And then uh, what do we got? Reduce the probability that a superstar will become injured in a match. I could also, uh, you know, I think I'll save that one as well. And uh, any, any special effects sh show logistics book this week will be free. So nothing really that's like a must this week. So you know, I don't want to quit. Uh, do not want to quit GM mode. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. Let's get into this week's show. Uh, so we have John Cena and Cesaro kind of feuding right now. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and put John Cena and Cesaro one-on-one -on -one in a tables matchup here. That'll be, uh, what's the, oh, wait a minute, schedule running. Okay, I've got, got to remember to do that. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead mid card tag team matchup. I want to crown some tag team champions this week So uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna do Let's do Batista and Rey Mysterio taking on mm, Booker and Eddie, I mean it's all baby faces here So somebody's gonna have to turn but Booker and Eddie tag team title match. That'll be good All right next up on the card. Let's go Alexa Bliss taking on Indy Hartwell. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and put the Women's Championship on the line as well. And we're going to do a little e interference here. Excuse me. And we will... Oh, I forgot we actually have... Uh, what was that? Five? No, no, no. Four. Four. Four women. I can't count. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll do a run-in on from Naomi on Indy Hartwell. Because they got a little feud going. And then our opener matchup. We have... We got some talent left. So let's do another tag team matchup here. Uh, I think we will run the same tag team matchup that we did <laughs> last week. Uh, Hurricane and Wesley versus the Boogeyman and Johnny Gargano. Obviously, going to be putting butts in seats. Let's go ahead and do that. We got a little promo here. Let's do a promo from Randy Orton. Let's do a promo from Nakamura. And let's do a promo from Raquel Gonzalez. Uh, I don't know. Advertising charity, role change. Uh, what is she? She's a heel. We'll just, keep, we'll just keep it normal. Just normal self-promo here. Uh, you know, nice and easy. And that'll be our SmackDown, man. So let's go ahead and show logistics real quick. And uh, let's do, let's run the Capital Wrestling Center. Let's do that. We got uh, we do have some backstage stuff um, available for purchase here. So let's go ahead and I'll just do kind of one thing at a time. Let's go and do the backstage crew. And uh, I really don't know, like, how much does this really help? I mean, it says, like, produces show quality by 4%. But, like, is it really that big of a deal? I guess it is. I guess that's why it's on here. But anyway... 
What do we got? Uh, purchase cameo appearances. Let's do that for our promotion. And uh, yeah, so I think this SmackDown in uh, Des Moines, Iowa looks good. So let's go ahead and see what happens. All right, so our third Friday Night SmackDown, we are here in the Capitol Wrestling Center in Orlando, Florida. So we got Hurricane and Wesley versus Johnny Gargano and Boogeyman. Again, we ran this match last week on SmackDown. If you go and check out episode one, you will see that. But this week, as you guys can see, the rivalry continues with the Boogeyman, whose staff is in front of Johnny Gargano's face in this picture, and Johnny Gargano pick up the tag team victory. What a tag team. Uh, they are uh, coming coming out to be. We have a self-promo from, of course, our Universal Champion, Randy Orton here. Good promo. I'll take it. Uh, what do we got next? We have Alexa Bliss and Indy Hartwell. This is a SmackDown Women's Championship matchup. Naomi going to be doing a run-in on Indy Hartwell. They've got, a, you know, a little bit of a feud going, so let's see what happens there. And the winner is Alexa Bliss still. Your SmackDown Women's Champion, so good stuff there. I, literally a good matchup, so I'll take it. We got a self-promo from Shinsuke Nakamura. Again, I was just kind of doing these promos just to fill up the card. Big time matchup here, man. Tag team matchup. We're going to be crowning our first SmackDown Tag Team Champions here. We got Batista and Rey Mysterio versus Eddie Guerrero and Booker T. Who's it going to be? And it is the team of Eddie Guerrero and Booker T becoming the new SmackDown Tag Team. The first ever, I should say, SmackDown Tag Team Champions here on my GM. Good stuff there. We have a self-promo from Raquel Gonzalez, which was okay. Uh, zero pro promo effect. Good stuff. Okay, <laughs> we have John Cena and Cesaro continuing their feud. This time, it's going to be a tables match. I forget who won their first meeting. I think uh, I think I had Cesaro. I don't know. I don't know who won that one, first one. But uh, Cesaro wins this one here. And uh, the rivalry between Cena and Cesaro grows to a level two rivalry. You love to see it. All right, so Monday Night Raw is looking about as bismal as ever. So we got Danny Burch and Brock Lesnar versus R-Truth and Trent Seven. In WWE 2K23, can we get more realistic AI booking, please? I think that would be that would be better. I'm not saying it needs to be like exactly like real life, but can, what is this? Like, can we get something a little bit more realistic in WWE 2K22 or 23? Excuse me, with the AI booking in my GM, I'd really appreciate that. We got Trent Se or not Trent Seven, excuse me, Timothy Thatcher promo, Mia Yim promo. We got Akira Tozawa versus Eric. Uh, Becky Lynch and Bailey, which is you know probably the best match on here, and then Drew, well, we got Drew McIntyre and Roger Strong as well. But you know I can't knock those two matches, but the rest of the show looking abysmal. But uh, I guess that's you know how it is in real life, so there's really nothing uh, different from that. And as for our ratings here, so Raw beat us in the opener. So some, some they had a better tag team matchup. Theirs had Brock Lesnar in it, so I guess the Boogeyman wasn't good enough. What what can I say? Uh, we had a better first mid card matchup. We tied the second mid card matchup, and we beat him in the main event, which our show looked good, man. Two and a half stars, three stars, two and three stars overall. And uh, Monday Night Raw, on the other hand, which uh, you know still just looking abysmal as ever. Uh, you know, three and a half somehow, well, because of Lesnar in that opening matchup. Two, two, two. The rest of their show. So I'd say SmackDown wins this week, but you know, let's go and check out who's on top in the ratings. We also gained 77,000 fans this week and brought in a profit of $39,000. Big ups for Friday Night SmackDown. And somehow after both of those shows, Raw is still on top after week three. I, I mean, I disagree, but, you know, I can't argue the AI. That, that's what it is. But we all know, you guys watching, it, with SmackDown's better. All right, Friday Night SmackDown is better. All right, so we got Rey Mysterio in our email right now who said, Hey, Regal, you've seen the work I've been putting in, but I know I could do more for the brand. I'm ready to run a main event match, and I know the fans will be excited for it. This would mean a lot for me and my career. What do you say? No chance, Rey. Or sounds good. Obviously... We're saying sounds good to Rey Mysterio. I mean, duh. If he wants the main event, I, I trust you in the main event, right? So you're going to get that. And then uh, we also have Indy Hartwell in our DMs here saying that loser Naomi attacked me during that last fight. I'm not going to stand for this garbage, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I want to settle things in the ring with her in the next three weeks. So, of course, we're going to do that. <laughs> Sorry, Indy. Not going to happen. Sorry, not going to happen. No. We're, gonna, of course, going to say okay. And we'll give Indy Hartwell her match. With Naomi in the next few weeks. Wait, 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 good. You mess with me, you pay the price. I thought for some reason, I have read, I read, read the word pay the price, and I was like, is she asking for a pay raise right now? One thing at a time. We just started here. All right, so before we get started with week four in San Antonio, Texas, I want to go ahead and check out the uh, free agency for this week. Because like I said, I'm looking to sign another women. I just don't know who yet. Uh, so we got Ember Moon in here, and that could definitely be a good uh, plus for the roster. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let me check the uh, legends even. I don't think there's really any women's legends off the top of my head that I'm interested in. They do have Umaga in here. I would love to add Umaga to the roster. I think I'm going to go I think I'm going to go ahead, go ahead if I could talk and, and sign the Samoan Bulldozer. I think we got to sign Umaga. I think we got to do it. 
I think we got to do it. Listen, I, and you guys, if you watched episode one, you heard me say this. I'm going for a more Legends roster than not. So if somebody's got to get cut to eventually make some room to pay some of these Legends, we'll do what we got to do. But we're bringing Umaga to Friday Night SmackDown. Absolutely. Welcome aboard the team. All right, so we're done with that. Let's go ahead and let's go back over to the free agents here. And we are going to pick up Ember Moon uh, to bring to our women's division. So I'll bring us to five women in the division. So Ember Moon, welcome to Friday Night SmackDown. Roster's getting bulky, but the roster's looking good. I think overall, this is the best the roster has obviously looked so far. Uh, it's just getting better and better week by week. Our commissioner goal for this week is to ensure that Eddie Guerrero fights. No problem. He was probably going to be on the card anyway. I think we we'll go ahead and pull a couple underhanded tactics here, such as doubling the cost of an opposing brand's matches for next week's show. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't know if that affects Raw or WrestleMania Backlash, but regardless, we're going to go ahead and do that because, uh, you know, screw Raw. And then on the other hand, we also have this uh, contract negotiation, which adds one week to a free agent's or a legend's contract duration. So why we're at it and, you know, we're signing people, I think I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, use that. Actually, I just purchased those. I have to go ahead and actually go down here to uh, use that. So we'll do the double the cost thing. Uh, so, so the cost uh, the cost of all special match types will be double for all in the next week's show. Obviously, you know, screw Monday Night Raw. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then, I don't know if... I'm pretty sure we get to pick who's... Uh, yeah, we get to pick who we add this uh, contract duration on to. So who's, who's... We got three weeks, three weeks, eight, seven, four... Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and add it on the Batista's contract. Let's do that. So now Batista, we got him for an extra week. All right, so let's go ahead and let's start booking the Go Home SmackDown to Backlash. All right, so Rey Mysterio wants to be in the main event. So I think what I'm going to do is here is do a tag team matchup. John Cena alongside Rey Mysterio to take on Cesaro to continue the rivalry between Cena and Rey Mysterio. As well as Randy Orton, our uh, current Universal Champion. All right, let's do our next uh, mid-card match here. We'll get Eddie Guerrero on the show. Uh, let's do a little singles match. We'll do Eddie Guerrero versus... Student Eddie Guerrero versus Shinsuke Nakamura. That might be a, a good little match here. Let's do a run-in with, uh, with with Booker T to get him involved since he's Eddie Guerrero's tag team partner. And he'll uh, do a run-in on Shinsuke Nakamura. All right, next up, two more matches to go on this week's SmackDown. So let's... Uh... What do we want to do here? Let's go Naomi and Indy Hartwell since we got to keep that uh, feud going. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and let's do... We'll do a table. I wish there was more options, man, instead of just Hell in a Cell, TLC, Extreme Rules, tables. You know, I know it's not the biggest deal in the world, but still, I just like having the options. It just makes things more fun. But we'll just go ahead and uh, do a tables matchup between Naomi and Indy Hartwell. And that'll lead us to our opener matchup, which we will do... Uh, what do we want to book here? Uh, we can keep the feud going between the Hurricane and, uh, well, the Hurricane versus was kind of Wesley or Johnny Gargano, or Johnny Gargano, Wesley, and Hurricane and Boogeyman, sort of. It was all kind of intermingled there. Uh, I think we'll go ahead. Let's, let's, let's do it. Let's go the Hurricane versus, screw it, we're going to go the Boogeyman. We're going to do it. Oh, we also got, you know what? Hold on. I want to do, we're going to do Batista. We're changing things up. I want Umaga on the show this week. We're going to do Batista versus Umaga because I want Umaga making a SmackDown debut. All right, let's use up these promo slots here. So let's go ahead. We'll do a call out between the Hurricane and the Boogeyman to uh, keep that feud going there. Let's go. Uh, what else? Who do we have left to uh, work here with? So we can do it. I guess we can do another call out technically uh, with Wesley and Johnny Gargano. And then we'll do a self promo with uh let's go ember moon since it'll be her uh, first night on smackdown as well all right so i think our smackdown card looks pretty good this is a pretty awesome go home if you ask me to backlash we're gonna go ahead and confirm all this and uh let's get into simulating our card i think this is an awesome card we're keeping some feuds going uh like i said we're gonna probably gonna be blowing some stuff off at backlash and uh I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So, Capital Wrestling Center. We got Batista versus Umaga in the opening matchup. Uh, this is, of course, Umaga's debut. After we just picked him up, what an awesome signing. I completely forgot that he was in this game and I could use him for uh, my GM. So, I was pretty hyped to uh, add him to my roster. But as you guys can see, Batista picks up the win. Uh, and I guess the opening feud, uh, or the opening match, I should say, to their feud, Batista and Umaga. Uh, good old WrestleMania 24 rematch there. So, we have Hurricane and Boogeyman going to continue their feud. Uh, in this nice little promo, we have Naomi and Indy Hartwell in a tables match, keeping their feud going, which is the second or third week uh, of their feud, which I think it might tell me. No, it doesn't tell me, but it was a it was an okay matchup, so I'll take it. We have Wesley and Johnny Gargano, uh, which their rivalry grows 
good promo there. We have Eddie Guerrero versus Shinsuke Nakamura, Booker T, Eddie's tag team partner, doing a little run in on Nakamura, uh, which I, I'm going to need to turn uh, some people here. I got a lot of baby faces on the roster. I think Nakamura, Umaga, Cesaro, and Orton. Uh, well, no, no, I mean, I, I guess it's probably pretty split. There's just a lot of bigger names now that I'm thinking about it that are the baby faces. But no, I'll worry about it when I when I need to. But Eddie Guerrero picks up the win, and Booker T and Nakamura are now in a rivalry. So maybe we should team Nakamura up, maybe with Cesaro. You know, they they were a team before, and uh, maybe have a, have ourselves, excuse me, a little tag team feud uh, for the tag team titles. That'd be pretty good. Ember Moon's promo uh, it was completely a fail, <laughs> a complete flop. Uh, what can you do? And then we get to our main event. Which is John Cena and Rey Mysterio versus Cesaro and the Universal Champion Randy Orton. So I mean, if Cena and Rey win here, which they do, uh, I think I think we might have to give Rey Mysterio uh, a Universal Championship match against Randy Orton. I think it just makes sense. So that may be our Universal Championship match for Backlash. Here's Rawls' card. Here they're literally running back last week's opening matchup. This time in the main event, and it's going to be a tables match. Uh, they also have this one: Akira Tozawa and Sheamus versus Eric and Timothy Thatcher. The AI always books the Viking Raiders. Like, or, like, drafts the Viking Raiders, but never just teams them up. I've noticed that. Well, I don't know why they don't team them up. I, I don't know. But the, the AI needs to be smarter next year's game, please. All right, well, so let's get into the ratings for SmackDown and Raw this week. So we tied in the opener, uh, which we have, of course, Batista and Umaga. They had that abysmal-looking tag team matchup, which, whatever. Uh, we beat them in the first mid-card matchup, which ours, of course, was Naomi and Indy Hartwell. Um, they beat us in the second mid-card match, and unfortunately, they killed us in the main event. So uh, I guess they, you know, technically... One this week because they beat us twice we tied and then i only beat him once so is what it is hopefully we can bounce back after backlash still gain fans and still gain a profit so i guess still a win all right raw is still the number one ranking not a fan of that but like i said backlash is time for wrestlemania backlash we're gonna book a good show we're gonna come out strong and hopefully we're gonna kill him but here we are backlash denver colorado i'm ready to go got a couple emails to read here so triple h says just a note of caution now that naomi has a stamina level below 40 she's vulnerable to become injured uh the lower the stamina and the more uh strenuous the match the greater the risk becomes and then uh triple h said superstars who are completely rested will recover 12 stamina points in a week those who cut a promo will recover six and can't become injured that week so i guess we got to keep our eye on uh naomi who is also in the dms right now who said thanks for the rematch against indy hartwell um and then she said told you i'd get the win this time small increase to naomi's morale i'll take what i can get we got big dave in here um looks like he's about to say the same thing ray mysterio did batista wants a uh, main event matchup obviously can't argue that sounds good big dave we absolutely will put you in the main event all right wrestlemania backlash we have five matches on the show i'm pumped up let's go ahead real quick though and uh, check out the old commissioner goal, which is have at least one TLC match. We will be putting one TLC match uh, on WrestleMania Backlash. As for everything else here, obviously Raw is winning in the ratings right now. And uh, two extreme, uh, one randomly booked extreme rules match on your show will receive a higher, uh, receive a higher than normal rating. Gotcha. Um, we might go ahead and use that. We must. I'm probably going to use the free booking as well. I'll look at that after. Uh, I won't, always got to check the uh, free agent pool. You know, I don't really know who else <laughs> I really want to sign right now. Uh, nobody current that I'm looking to sign. And as for the Legends, Mickey James probably would be good for the roster, but I don't know. I, I'm going to stay away from the uh, the free agents and stuff right now. New Arena WrestleMania Backlash. Uh, so let's go ahead. I guess I'll set up this stuff here. Get that all good and dandy. And I guess I'll go back here and use the free booking arena. So... WrestleMania Backlash will be free, and then, uh, which I think it might be free anyway, but whatever, I don't know. Was it? I don't know. Pay free bonus buy. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. And then, what was I going to do? Oh, free special effects. Obviously got to use that as well, because we're trying to make Backlash a banger. All right, so let's go ahead and book this Backlash card. So we we're going to go to the main event. I wish I could do like a triple threat or a fatal four-way or something. But, uh, unfortunately, I can't. So, let's go ahead and we're going to do Randy Orton versus Rey Mysterio in a tables, ladders, and chairs matchup for the Universal Championship. Looks good there. Let's go to our first mid-card match, which we will do a tag. Uh, well, then I want to... Alright, so let's do Booker and Eddie. And then we'll have Nakamura and his tag team partner... I don't know. I don't know. I don't really have any heels that can uh, that are, are in a rivalry, I should say, that can team with up, team out with Nakamura right now. I mean, is there anybody? Not that I want to just sign somebody just for you know one time use, but is there anybody in free agency? Like, why is Apollo Crews babyface? That doesn't even make any sense. 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know who to... Let's just go back. I'll, I'll, I'll forget about the tag team match right now. Uh, let's go opening matchup. We will go... I want to make this show a banger. So let's go... Johnny Gargano and Wesley. Continuing their feud. Um, let's go mid-card. Which we will do Cesaro and John Cena. In a... Tables matchup. What else we got on here? Let's do... I guess... Let's... Alright. Tag team. Eddie and Booker. Let's, you know what? We'll do Umaga and Nakamura. For the tag team titles. We'll do that. Let's, let's book our women's championship matchup. Alexa Bliss versus Raquel Gonzalez. Is the match we'll do. We'll make that a tables match as well. And then can we do like a call out promo? Yeah, we'll... No, well, we can't because Umaga's already booked. All right, let's do that. Keep uh, Hurricane and Boogeyman going. We'll do a self-promo from Batista. We will do a self-promo from Ember Moon. Didn't go that well the first time we did it, but anyway, we'll also do a Naomi Indy Hartwell call-out promo just to fill up the show. Real quick, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, 2 Extreme. Well, I'm going to buy it. Uh, 2 Extreme Power Card, and we're going to apply that to backlash that way something on our show one of our extreme rules matches we have a tables match a tlc match something is going to get a higher boost well i guess technically it's that extreme rules match i guess i should change one of these matches to an actual extreme rules match so we'll change cesaro and john cena to extreme rules all right all in all this card looks good it is week five denver colorado the card is stacked for WrestleMania Backlash, let's go ahead and confirm this. There's no way Raw's having a better show than this, man. We got all the titles on the line. Tables match, Extreme Rules, TLC, rivalries going on. There's no way Raw's having a better show than us. Now, for this specific pay-per-view, I'm just going to simulate everything. But let me know down in the comment section below if for more pay-per-views or SmackDowns or whatever, if you guys want to see me play some matches on here, let me know down below in the comments. All right, so we're going to kick this off. Johnny Gargano versus Wesley at Backlash. The rivalry continues, and Johnny Gargano... Picks up the win and a two and a half star okay matchup, uh, growing the rivalry to a level three. I'll take what I can get. We got Hurricane and Boogeyman continuing their rivalry in a little promo. And then we have what is probably going to be most, uh, uh, probably our match of the night since they, they actually have a feud going on. Orton and Ray, we're just kind of doing that as a championship matchup. Cesaro, John Cena, extreme rules matchup here. Plus, we have that power card applied. So, this is a win for the franchise. John Cena, and oh my god. God, four and a half star classic between John Cena and Cesaro. There's no way Rawls beating us, man. There's no way. We cannot allow that. Uh, the Cena and Cesaro is tearing down the house. I can't even talk. Batista, uh, nice promo there. We have our tag team matchup, Eddie Guerrero and Booker T versus Nakamura and Umaga. Again, for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, which, oh, big surprise. Three stars, good matchup, Nakamura and Umaga are the new SmackDown Tag Team Champions knocking off Eddie Guerrero and Booker T. I, I gotta say, that's a shock. I did not see that happening. We just kind of threw them together so we could have a tag team title match on the show. You know, we started a Umaga and Batista program, but we had to put it on the shelf for this. But now Umaga is one half of the Tag Team Champions. So, good stuff there. I ain't hating. Next up, we got Alexa Bliss with Quell Gonzalez in a tables match for the SmackDown Women's Championship here. And we have a winner, which is... Raquel Gonzalez becomes the new SmackDown Women's Champion. Alexa Bliss had a had a half decent run, but we got a new champion. So that's two new two new champions. Excuse me. Uh, so far here at Backlash, will we have a third? Uh, Naomi and Indy Hartwell continuing their feud with the promo, and then we're on to the main event, which is the tables, ladders, and chairs. Randy Orton versus Rey Mysterio for the Universal Championship. Is Lightning going to strike three times in one night? Are we going to have a new? Universal Champion and still or and new and it is and new Universal Champion Rey Mysterio four star amazing matchup new rivalry set up between Orton and Rey Rey wins the Universal Championship dude there's no way there's no way Rolls having a better backlash than us there's no freaking way that was an awesome show. That looked like, from the outside looking at it, that looked like an awesome show. Uh, Raw's, Raw's side of Backlash over here, just absolutely putting Denver, Colorado to sleep. We got Drew McIntyre and Roger Strong in a tables match. We got Lesnar versus R-Truth, one-on-one, straight-up, normal matchup. We have Dana Brooke versus Reckoning, not Mia Yim, Reckoning. Uh, we have Akira Tozawa and Eric going one-on-one, -on -one, and then in the main event, we have a tables match between Becky Lynch and Bailey 
for the women's championship i'm not even gonna stick around to see who wins those matches because who gives a damn but oh my god look at this smackdown uh raw beat us in the opener which what was their opener again it was the tables matchup between strong and drew mcintyre so that's really why they won because it was a tables matchup but uh we absolutely crushed them in that second mid card match obviously crossed them in this in the third mid card match or excuse me first and second mid card match we tied in the third mid card matchup and then we tied in the main event so that that looks like a win to me because if there's two ties there then that's uh then that brings down three matches and that's two to one smackdown so smackdown i'd say is the winner here but you know I'll, I'll, I'll we'll see what the we'll see what the rankings are here i'm not going to go ahead and look just yet uh but of course more fans gained which you love to see profits went up all a win for friday night smackdown this th we're still ranked two we're still we're still ranked two you gotta be kidding me hold on hold on how are they still number one how do they still got all right all right no problem no problem all right we're just gonna keep our heads up and smackdown's gonna keep rolling on but we, we know, we know that we had a better backlash than Raw. Hurricane in our DM said, hey, my contract at SmackDown is up at the end of the week. Uh, and he goes on and says, I'd be interested, excuse me, in staying. Uh, the cost would be 64000 This is where we're going to have to start making some choices. See, I want to do like, how about 44 k But that's when, you know, that's when they're like, oh, I'm insulted. So... 64,000. I wish I could put my own price in, you know? I'll just... I want the Hurricane around. I'll see to it for now. We'll make some harder decisions down the line. Uh, but, you know, is what it is. But, uh, on top of that, Batista, what happened to the main event match? Do you have any idea how much... Oh, we were supposed to do that at Backlash, man? We don't got, like, a whole... That's stupid. No, I didn't mean to screw Batista like that. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Batista, I'm sorry. Uh, I thought I had another week. I'm sorry that uh, you're a little disappointed. Well, we'll make up for it for Big Dave. We'll make up for it. Uh, Alexa Bliss, on the other hand, said, I'm not happy losing my championship last week. As a former champion, um, enacting my rematch calls, I want a championship rematch against Raquel. Nobody else better get a title shot before me. Okay, I can do that, Alexa. All right, so in the free agency real quick before we get out of here, Liv Morgan is available, which I am... I am interested in picking up, but there's just... I wish we had more... I wish we had, like, five or six matches on SmackDown, because I, I would do it. There's just not enough room for all the talent. Uh, but she's over there. I'm interested in her. Legends-wise, uh, we do have, obviously, Snit. We got The Rock. We got Austin. Cactus Jack. Stacey Keebler's in here. Uh, which, that, that honestly would, might, might be a cool addition to the roster. I don't know. I'm going to sit on it, and when we, when we do the next episode of MyGM, maybe we'll make some signings. I'm not sure yet, but that is where we're going to wrap things up this week. Week 6, Louisville, Kentucky. How, how do you guys think I fared at Backlash? I think I did better than Raw, but hey, let me know down below in the comments. Like I said earlier, if you didn't check out the draft, go ahead and check that out in the cards. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my GM WWE 2K22 right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe down below if you want to see more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Game face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.